Well, you know, it's a new year. Time to get the kids back on track, including teaching them about proper manners and etiquette. It is more than just please and thank you. So Ann Brown from It's All About Etiquette is here with more. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Happy New Year to you. You too. I think we, you know, maybe it seems like, I don't know, this day and age, do we teach manners as much as we used to? No. It doesn't we don't. seem like that. And, and that's why I started my business. Um, it's really sad. And I think a lot of it is it has to start at home. Mm -hmm. And I hear stories, oh, Aunt, Aunt so-and-so Bessie taught me when I was young and my mother was a stickler on how we ate. And I don't see that anymore. No. I really don't. I think and I'm probably guilty of a lot of that too. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you, and then maybe you teach them, and but you're not following up as much too. So what's number one? Well, I just, it's the new year. Mm -hmm. So everybody's making these resolutions. So why not include our family members and our kids in these resolutions, okay. right? So um, I think it's really a great, great idea to sit down as a family and talk about what do we need to improve on our manners. Mm -hmm. And write these things down on a poster board. Post it somewhere as goals that you're going to work on during the new year. Um, I think the reward system is really great you with have our this kids. Here. This is our manners jar. So every time the parent sees their children practicing good manners, you can put whatever you want in this jar. I like to put kisses in there. So they're rewarded a kiss. And at the end of the week, whoever has the most kisses gets a reward. And it could be something very simple like having a friend over for dinner or a special treat. It doesn't have to be anything too expensive. Elaborate, yes. right? I think yes. that sometimes scares parents. Like, yes. oh, I don't want to go out and have to buy this or that. Right. But you don't have to. No, Good point. not at all. All not right, all. what about Thank you notes. I mean, those are really going away. We talked away. about those, yeah, mm -hmm. last month. Um, thank you notes start with the parent. And I think the parent should be sitting down and writing thank you notes and having the child sit there with them yeah. so they know what to say. Um, if you have a little one that does not know how to write yet, sit down and ask them, what did you like about your gift? And write a note with them. And then let them, you know, put their stickers on it and create their own as for fun. Also, I think that's a really good idea to have the kids go pick out their own uh, station. They like it when they have their they own, do. right? It right. makes a big difference. What about please, thank you, all that good stuff? We talked about it's more than that but that is important yes it is and again I want to say it's it starts at home when mom and dad are saying please and thank you to people at the house or out in public the kids kind of catch on and will start using please and thank you and you're welcome and excuse me these all are right. all the wonderful words we've got a words. lot to cover I we agree do. okay cell phone ground rules okay so uh, 10 foot rule if you're within 10 feet of somebody it's fine but if you're not you shouldn't be using a cell phone because we've all been at the airport listening to somebody's so you have to say ten feet away. Ten feet away. All right. Um, and Good they point. should know. They should know what to when to use it during public. So basically, no libraries, no movie theaters, no elevators. It seems and easy, so forth. but teach them to it. Oh, I know. Um, all right. I love this place, Matt. Oh. Um, when should we start teaching kids about like? manners and where to put things and all that good stuff three three to five they can really? they can come and wow. sit down at the table put their napkin on their lap say please and thank you at the table um, they should sit still learn how to use their utensils and not their fingers so that's about the three to five you should start doing that I love this do you sell this because uh, I think we all could use I, this I'm like oh that's how it goes yeah so I basically that's have so these in my classes when it, for my kids oh my gosh I love it and look it has all the rules on yes. the back that's great it's, yes so. And tell me about these clock like plates. Um, this I use uh, for basically I'm resting and I'm done because or finished. Um, when a child picks up their utensils, we do not want them putting it on the table or the linens because it gets dirty. So this would be the um, I'm resting position over here uh, where you've got the, the, one, the knife at the one o'clock position and the fork between the four and five. And the I'm finished position would be at the four and five. Um, and I also talked to, about, talked to them about um, these are silent service codes at restaurants too because the waiters look at this oh, to know when to take they the know. plate and when not to. Form 5. I bet we taught a lot of adults that too today. And you have a special for anybody watching. I do. Uh, it's $25. I've got a 9 to 12 class coming up on January the 16th and uh, okay. it's $25 off an additional sibling that joins that class or friend. Alright and for more information or to sign up for classes go to it'sallaboutetiquette.com.